Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I am doing a collaboration with Soraya Silvestri Artist. And um, Soraya, I would like to say thank you so much for um, agreeing to do this collaboration with me. I'm real excited about it. And I will list her name on the screen here. And I will list her channel site in the description box. So please be sure to check her out. I'll talk a little bit about her channel. She is a very accomplished artist that does a lot of uh, feather pours, Dutch pours, balloon kisses, quite an array of uh, different types of painting. And the one thing I really appreciate about her art is she can go back and she does beautiful enhancements, detail work, and embellishments on her pores. And it just uh, makes them even that more beautiful. So again, I encourage you to take the time to go to her channel and check out her work. Okay, so we decided together we were going to use a 16 by 20 inch uh, canvas. And she picked a Dutch pour and then I picked the colors and the base colors that I wanted to use were white, gold, and bronze. And then I gave the choice of two additional colors. So my colors that I chose, my two extra colors, are the Master's Touch Phalo Blue and the Liquitex Basics Quinacridone Magenta. So what I'm going to do is stop the camera and I'm going to put down my base coat, which is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And I'll go over my other two paints here. I am using the Deco Art 24K Gold. And my last color was the bronze. It is an antique bronze from the Deco Art Metallics line. My pouring medium I used is a little bit different. Um, I'm using what's called the M1 Latex Paint Additive and Extender. This is a very thin, almost like water. And so what I did is I uh, used just a teaspoon of the Liquitex Basics Gloss Medium, I, and I added my paints, mixed that up. Then I added the M1 Extender, and then a little bit of water until I got the right consistency. And let me show you consistency, very thin because we are doing the Dutch pour. So again, I'm going to just stop the camera, put down my base coat, I'll be back and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat of my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White down, and I'm just going to start to lay the paints for the Dutch pour. And one thing that I did forget to mention about Soraya is, is that she sings. Sometimes she sings on her videos, and she has a really beautiful voice. So if you run along some of her videos that uh, says, plus I sing or bonus I sing, uh, make sure that you watch that one because, again, she has a really beautiful voice. A lady of many talents. So I'm just going to start uh, laying my paint here. I think I'll go more like a diagonal direction with it. And I will put the brands down next. Follow up with some white. Just white right down the middle here. And I'll finish it off with some gold. I'm 
Okay. And I think I will give it a torch before I start blowing it out. The Dutch pour is one of my challenging pours. I don't do a lot of them. So hopefully this will turn out pretty good. We'll see. And I'm going to add just a little bit more paint here. And I will try blowing it up over on top. Okay. And I'm going to tr start with my blow dryer on low and cool. And see if that does the job. If not, I'll have to flip it up to high. Okay, happy with it so far. I think I will give it a quick torch. Just a little bit of tipping. There's still quite a bit of paint on here. And I hope you are seeing this tipping. Okay.
think what I'm going to do is just try and blow this down a little bit here. Now I think I'm going to just um, use my straw and blow out a few areas. I am one that likes wispies. Pretty happy with all of that. I think I will turn it over now. And I'm just going to do a little bit more blowing with the straw here. Okay. Okay. The only spot I do not like is this area right in here. And I think what I'm going to do is scrape that and add a little more paint to it and see what we can come up with. Okay, I will lay my white paint down first. And I will get that spread out. Okay, and give that a quick torch. And 
And now I'm going to um, add a little bit more paint up in here and just see if we can just add a little something to this right in here. I just felt like it did not have enough, enough color in there. Okay, so let's give that a little blow here. Okay, I do like that a lot better, especially in this area. Let's give it a little torch. And I think I might even give it a little tilt here. back a little bit and let's see what that does yeah I like that a lot better the only thing is I would I'm just going to clean this up just a little bit so it's just white and not the blue Yeah, I like that a lot, lot better. It's beautiful. Okay, I think I will give it, I'll clean off my bottoms and check my corners here. We'll give it one more torch. A lot going on in this painting. Beautiful colors. And I will get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, here we go for our close up. And I think that composition wise, it would go this way. So, this is the upper right hand corner. I'm sorry, left hand corner. We'll just go down the left hand side here. Here's where I did blow it out with the straw to make those wispies. This is one of my favorite areas in here. Those colors just played so well with each other. And of course, the gold is coming through here, very shiny. This is the lower left-hand corner. And I'll show you one of my favorite spots. It is right in here. I just think that's really pretty in there. 
Okay, we're going to go up the middle now. Start at the bottom. And I do like the boldness of that blue. It's another area that I really think is pretty right in here. And this area in here too, I do like. That's the upper right hand corner. And coming down the right hand side here. Again, the boldness of that blue coming through. And some negative space. And this is where the, I did remove some of that paint and just added a little more color there. This is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all. So you'll know the next time I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. And again, Soraya, thank you so much for agreeing to do this video with me, this collaboration. And I am so excited to see what you came up with and what colors you, you chose too. So everybody, again, if you get a chance, please check out Soraya Silvestri Artist. She has beautiful work. And I'm so excited we got to do this collab together. Until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.